Well, um, thanks for again tuning in the video diaries. Um, today, this Thursday, I'm kind of going to be reflecting on purpose. So, um, I I always like to start off my um, dear diaries or um, sorry, y'all, my video diaries like a letter to God is if you've been following the videos the third video I started off like that and it was on my heart to kind of continue starting it off that way so you know here goes um uh, dear God you know the day I've been sitting thinking about um my purpose and purpose in general what does that mean to us as a people and why is it that when we are in search of it we tend to be uh, so careless the very thing that we don't want to do or who we don't want to be we become in search of our purpose when we're not geared in the right direction or um, kind of like when we're not being pushed in the right direction we tend to veer off or go off and, and do the wrong things all the time but what I've come to find out is your purpose is simply what you're born to do you know I often think about what what am I here for what was I born to do what do I have a passion to do what do I feel complete in when I'm doing it like it just comes natural for me I feel like your purpose is or my purpose God is is what comes natural for me. What comes natural for me in my life is being an encourager, uh, lifting people's spirit. Um, I like for when people to leave my presence that they feel better, you know, somehow feel uplifted somehow that I've changed their life, you know, just from having an encounter with me, not me per se, but an encounter with the God in me that it has compelled them to change in some way or um, that my presence or the presence of God that lives in me draws them in because the word says with love and kindness have I drawn thee that's what God says all the time so you have to be careful not to hammer people over the head with the word or with the Bible and stuff like that you have to draw them first with love and kindness. You have to meet people where they are. You have to go where they are sometime and just be yourself and just love on them. Don't come at them with, you got to meet them where they at. If they're not in word, then when you coming at them with straight word or scriptures and stuff like that, then that's why people have a tendency of backing down or running from you or hate to see you coming because you always coming at them where they're not. So that kind of leaves you um non effective. You 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 don't be effective like that. So um I also think I didn't mean to just jump off but anyway. Um I also think that anytime even in ministry or the world period if you see something or I notice if I tend to see something that nags me especially in churches or any ministry or in church that I'm a part of if it's something that just nag me usually that's a sign that that's what you're supposed to be doing that you want to fix it you want to jump in it comes natural for you to do that that's a sign that that's what you're supposed to be doing say if it's the choir if if they're not ad-libbing or um coming in on a certain cue or you feel like they moved away from a song too quickly because God was right there stay right there stay right there don't move it's changing the atmosphere just keep going and you're not a part of that and you're sitting watching that it will nag the crazy out of you I mean it'll just frustrate your very being because nine times out of ten you were called to be in that position so if it frustrates you and I haven't heard pastors say this my former pastors have said this um, I've heard people on TV pastors say this. If you feel that in any way, whether it be an usher, whether it's working in a uh, community center or on your job, being a creative director or uh, implementing different ideas and you're not doing it and you see somebody else doing it and you know it's half but you probably supposed to be in that area in some type of a way. So um, that's just 
it. So to me, purpose is what drives you, what keeps you going, the thing that makes you feel whether I get paid or not, I want to do that. I want my hands in that. Um, when I'm doing it, it makes a difference not only in others' lives, but it makes a difference in my life. I come alive when I'm stepping in this arena um, of my life or whatever that project is, I transform when I'm around it, even in your relationships, your marriages, um, whatever the case may be, your relationships, your relationships, excuse me, with your aunts, your uncles, your friendships, uh, co-workers, you have to pay attention to that. You know, what, what is you, what makes you, you, all of that is lined up. I hope I'm making sense. All of that is lined up with your purpose. So, um, I hope that describes the definition I think purpose is and, in some type of a way. I also think that when you're doing your purpose, what you've been born to do, what you're called to do, I mean, you're fulfilled. That void, that itch, that whatever that is for you, it's fulfilled, you know, because you're living that out every day. You're satisfied. Your cup, your cup runs over with that, you know, and it lines up with the word at the same time, then that's your purpose. It don't have to be nothing flamboyant. You don't have to get dressed up and leave the house every day. My purpose, okay, like right now, I'm in the home. I'm a homemaker. So if I'm, people tend to think, and I've done this myself, I always say that's mediocre, you know, but it's, it's not. It's an anointing even in that. If the Lord has called you to be a homemaker, housewife, mother, friend all of that stuff into one then that it's an anointing on that because you're being the best that you can be in it you're there um the house flows smoothly when it's on routine like a well-oiled machine tick 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 because your hands in it you got the food done a certain time you everything seem to be smoking hot when people walk when your family walking in the door them people is they are grateful everything on point homework done on time breakfast on time, getting everybody up ready for church on Sunday morning on time, on Wednesday night for Bible study, we on time, everything. You are the core of the heartbeat of that house and you're called to do that. That's an anointing to do that if that's your position. That's my position right now. Not saying that you can just wear one hat, hat because your purpose is made up of multi hats that you wear. It's all of that in one. You could be six different things and all of that just kind of um, go hand in hand with your purpose. You know, I know I'm a people person. I know that. Uh, and I know me being a people person, I have access when I'm home, whether through my cell phone, through email, through the computer or Facebook or YouTube or whatever to answer messages to Pray for the comments of the people that I'm reading. If they asking me to pray for them or intercede for them or whatever the case may be, I'm available. I'm doing that. That's what I'm called to do. I'm an intercessor. All of that works, not just in church, the four walls, but it works in your life. So I, purpose is all of that. So I hope I've helped you um, in some way and encouraged my own self because sometimes you get discouraged and you kind of minimize what the thing is that you're doing, but you have to take a look back and reflect on your purpose and see the trail that is left in your life. Look back on it. Look at the track record of it and see how blessed you are doing the very thing you were called or being born or have been born to do. So that's my outlook. That's my reflection on purpose. You guys be blessed. Peace and blessings.